Hello everyone. My name is Oscar. I'm teacher of computer science. My channel helps the students to do computer science assessment. Subscribe, like, share, and comment to get more new videos. Let's go right now. Assessment number one. Question number one. Define the following terms. A. PDA. B. Smartphone. Question number two. Name the devices labeled A and B on the figure below. The device shown by the capital A and the device shown by the capital letter B. Question number three. Differentiate a smartphone from a PDA. Question number four. State and explain the five features of smartphones. Question number five. Sub-question A. What is a laptop? A desktop? Question number five. Sub-question B. Make the difference between a laptop and a desktop. Marking guide. Answer of the question number one. A personal digital assistant or PDA is a computer that fits in the palm of your hand to help collect such information as contacts, appointments, files, and programs. Examples are Apple's Free, Microsoft's Cortana, and Amazon's Alexa. A smartphone is a cellular telephone with integrated computer and other features not originally associated with telephones, such as an operating system, web browsing, and the ability to run software applications. Examples are iPhone 13 Pro Max, Samsung Galaxy S22 Ultra, and so on. Answer to the question number two. The capital letter A shows a PDA. The capital letter B shows a smartphone. Answer to the question number three. The difference between PDA and smartphone is shown by using the table below. So we have many characteristics for a PDA and a smartphone which are summarized in the following table. PDA works as a small digital assistant that can save information like dates, contact numbers, and schedules. While smartphone is a new digital device that do the work of PDA as well as a mobile phone using just one firmware. This means that a smartphone has all features of a PDA and additional features like making 
phone calls, for example. A PDA has fewer features than a smartphone does, while a smartphone has more features than a PDA. Additional features of a smartphone to the features of PDA are the following. We have breathing powerful camera, we have gaming features and so on. A PDA can be used for note taking, planning, organizing and scheduling. While a smartphone can be used for a variety of purposes like such as making calls, browsing the net or just browsing the internet, watching videos and so on. A PDA cannot be used to make phone calls. A smartphone can be used to make phone calls. Nowadays, PDAs are not used as much as they were used before. It means that these days PDAs are not popular or just are not used by many people. Smartphones have new have now replaced PDAs and are used widely by people across the world. This means that smartphones nowadays are popular or just are used by many people. A PDA is a small mobile device that commonly has a hardware keyboard and no touch screen. It means that you cannot find a touch screen to a PDA. Smartphones have the touch screens that work faster than leather. Answer to the question number four. Features of smartphones. Wireless data access. Smartphones are able to be connected on internet through various wireless technologies like Wi-Fi, meaning wireless fidelity, Bluetooth, infrared, and so on. Video chatting. Most smartphones today allow you to video chat in higher definition with friends and family. It means that you can chat with your friends through video chatting. Screen display. Smartphones have larger screen than cell phones or other types of telephones. So they can display the images in a good way. Camera and video. Cameras on smartphones are very powerful with very big resolution so that they can take or capture the best images. Hardware sensors. Smartphones have sensors which respond intelligently to the physical world. For example, they can detect the temperature and inform the user if it is cold or or hot. Answer to the question number five. 
sub question A. A laptop is all in one computer that uses batteries or AC power that can last for several hours. It can be easily transported. It means that the laptops can be used anywhere because they can be transported. That is the reason why they are called portable devices. A desktop is a physical computer unit that consists of a monitor, a system unit, keyboard, and a mouse. It means that the monitor, keyboard, and mouse are a peripheral device because they are externally connected to the system unit through the computer ports and connectors. Desktop computers do not have batteries. It means they are only operating while they are connect they are directly connected to the power source. Hence they are not uh, portable devices. The difference between a desktop and a laptop. Desktop desktops need external devices to be free functional. It means that you have to connect, for example, mouse, monitor, and and the keyboard through computer ports. A laptop has an integrated keyboard, keyboard, touchpad, and LCD monitor or liquid crystal display. Desktops are large in size while laptops are small in size. Desktops are not a portable because they do not they do they, they they do not have their own batteries. Laptops can run on on batteries or AC supply. It means that you can use your own laptop while it is directly connected to the power source or not. Desktops have many computer ports compared to the number of ports which are found in laptops. Component of laptop or components of desktop can be easily removed, while the components of laptops are not easily removable.